I've always wanted to know, and this might be a bit of a dumb question, but I'm not a game dev, so bear with me. The um, the, the physics and details in games, like, for example, in Red Dead, you know, a dog will go over and poo and or a, your gun will will be dirty and then you'll go into the, the river and then it'll be clean. Like little details like that, how difficult are they as devs to to achieve those sort of little details? And are they necessary, do you think? Because a lot of gamers won't necessarily spot them. Most people won't spot that sort of stuff. But then there's the other kind of crowd of gamers that, that love that stuff and look for it. So what, what's your opinion on that? So we talk about this with physics a lot. Um, like actual physics and when like there's an animation where the physics are unbelievable like sometimes you use a physics sim and they, they're sent to be believable because it's a physics sim and they have you know hard body physics is a relatively solved problem like you know rigid body physics like you know a box bouncing around um where cloth and hair is a much more complicated problem but the reason that the like getting physics right matters is because the eye can tell even if the person doesn't really know for sure what's happening, they know that they're seeing something wrong. And those Red Dead things, I think, yes, are they, does everybody necessarily even know they're there consciously? But I think people know that they're there subconsciously. And it gives a feeling of holis a holistic world that is hard to get. Um, that's why the details matter. Um, you know, my favorite directors, you know, whether it's, you know, George Miller or, Paul Thomas Anderson or the Cohen brothers, the details are so important to them because they make a, oh, that's why the world feels like a world. And um, that's why I never do things like have Easter eggs pointing out pop cultural elements or something like that, that don't fit in the world because anything can pop. It's so easy. It's so hard to get the gamer immersed and it's so easy to get them unimmersed. And wow. so interesting these details are really, really critical no not everything like I, um like is it necessary to have the dogs poop no <laughs> is it hard to do probably you know you've got to write an ai routine where find a reasonable spot to poop you know go and play the poop animation make sure you don't poop too frequently but it's, all not, that stuff. it's not just that kid the dog will go up to a building and then if you go in the building there's sausages like the dog's looking for the sausages like that sort of stuff you know it's it's Pretty crazy. Yeah, it, it it makes the world feel, especially if you have like a low tech world like Red Dead. Not not I mean the game is very high tech, but the world the low, is representing. Yeah, yeah. You can't have a million like spaceships <clears throat> and robots flying around that are distracting you. So those little details mm. around you, I think that's what Red Dead did really well. It it makes you feel like you're in that time period. Um compared to like, you know, GTA, which is very much about being over the top and very much about the super exaggerated thing. Red Dead is all about grounding. What do you like?